Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Taf Khan and uh, I want to present the utilization of machine learning using image recognition system using feature fusion technique. Here is my address, email ID. Uh, you may find me at uh, taf.khan at the rate of umw.edu.tk, Department of Computer Science and IT, University of Niawali. These are my outline uh, of this presentation. A scene recognition model using handcrafted feature and multi-layer CNN feature fusion. Actually, we are uh, going to combine the different features of deep CNN and handcrafted feature, which are uh, extracted by the traditional approaches. And then we combine these features, and later on, these features are uh, trained, used for training the deep uh, CNN model and uh, SPM and extreme learning machine for uh, taking the final decision uh, of input image or input scene or any input data. For this purpose, we have divided this uh, presentation into the several steps. First is what is introduction, it is actual introduction of the scene. Then we have uh, introduction of conventional neural network when we have uh, introduced the new model then implementation and testing of that model on the different two data sets. Then we have experimental results and summary of this presentation. This is actually introduction of scene, uh, which is uh, showing that the human, uh, the place where human can act, can stay uh, or navigate, mean moving from one place to another. And this is all the area around us is considered as seen. Here is one picture which shows that there is a sky background ground. There is three different uh, stages of one scene. This is one scene, it is outside in each scene. So similarly, we have input in the scene and so on. Here we want to uh, move further for uh, introduction of the convolutional neural network. Here we have the different sub part of the convolutional neural network, which is convolutional layers, pooling layer, fully connected layer, Training and validation of that CNN is actually derivation of convolution neural network. For the scene classification means that this is uh, any kind of the data can be used here, but here we uh, uh, use sample as a scene image. This is one of the very uh, basic uh, example and figure for understanding convolution neural network. Actually, this is inspired by the parallel distribution process of the brain uh, of neuron. And uh, later on, we utilize this model in artificial intelligence. Need, uh, for this purpose, we have uh, utilized each neuron as a training, take, taking information from previous step to the next step. This figure actually shown there, there is input data. We apply convolutional sum uh, filter on this, then we have pooling. Then we have fully connected, and later on we have output of our system. Yani it means that we have decision of our system that what is input data. Here, if you see that we have uh, layer by layer information moving for further process. Convolution layer actually it is a some linear uh, operation, non-linear and linear operation on the input data. There is figure given up. This is the uh, top figure, uh, which actually showing that some filter kernel, it is middle, uh, first figure in the middle, we apply in this kernel on the input data, and we found the first one feature, which is three. It means this is some operation applied on the input data, and we find output as a or, uh, convolution layer output on one operation. Similarly, we apply one by one at all. Pooling layer is actually here to reduce the size. We pull the data, that's the second figure. We apply on the two by two max pooling operation and global, uh, global average pooling operation. Max pooling means that we take the maximum value two by two grid stairs set. So first was 20, then 30, 112, one and 37. Global average pooling is actually taking combination of the output and take the average value of that. Later, next, the fully connected layer is actually, it is connecting, taking the layer, input layer, 
uh, and we take there is uh, input layer are connected with the output next stage layer and we are actually flowing the information from the previous layer to the next layer and you see that these layer are fully connected means that this is mesh connection between the input label uh, input node and uh, hit and load which is second layer and final output layer here is actually uh, we have each layer, each uh, edges of this node has some value we say weight. Uh, these data are learnable actually. They are changing on the base of the input structure. So output layer mostly, which is last layer, which is output layer, uh, is equal to the number of categories. In most scenarios, somehow, uh, furthermore, Final in the end of the layer, we apply the soft mesh function uh, used for classification. That if this feature is classified, this feature is belong to the which class. So these are somehow important for us that how we decide that this uh, object input data is belong to which class. It based on the probability uh, function that how it near to the this class, how much near. Next is training and validation of CNN architecture. Network is actually trained on the base of uh, a given data. We label the data and some part of the data is uh, labeled for training purpose and some used for validation of the data. So when we try apply the input data for training, we, we use that there is one function we said that the back propagation function or algorithm that used for if the data input is given and our input predicted output is much different we say this is classification error we reduce this error by using this propagation method and stochastic gradient descent optimization algorithm is used for optimization of this means that we reduce the error one by one step there is several, let me explain the training step as the several number of uh, iteration in which each iteration we want to reduce the error, predicted error and input uh, value, which is actual one. So when we found that feed power, when we found that this uh, sample is have some error, we feed forward, uh, backward to the uh, update the weight and BIOS value after convolution during network. And update this BIOS and weighted value. This is called back propagation. And feed forward, what is the means that we follow, follow, follow this convolutional structure and forward the data from input to the end, you know, end, end uh, of the, the structure, which is end uh, of, end of this uh, last layer and then update again and again, it will update our system and our model will be trained accordingly. These are some already uh, given uh, algorithm which has been applied regarding this sample data, which is we say that scene category data. And these are different uh, techniques which we have, uh, they have applied. Uh, guest feature description means that these some techniques are applied before and these are manual feature extraction techniques. The last one is uh, bag of visual uh, world is another technique uh, they have to they have utilized for this purpose on the sun 397 data sets images we have 397 different classes similarly these different technique has been utilized for the purpose of uh, classification training on the model and apply for testing on the base of these knowledge uh, we have uh, decided that uh, the previous technique, uh, which was uh, applied before the uh, uh, coming of the convolution neural structure 2012, I think. So, uh, so these techniques are based on the traditional approaches, uh, which utilize the handcrafted feature. Later on, the images are uh, the different uh, model, different uh, researcher utilize the deep CNN for extracting the feature. However, we want to uh, analyze here that these model was uh, not enough to use the complex scene structure and uh, didn't uh, particularly evaluate it for the small scale data set. 
Therefore, we have study here and uh, we consider that let's uh, make this better uh, for medium scale data set. And because when we apply this deep CNN model on the medium scale data set, we found that uh, it is not fit for these data. Therefore, we uh, produce, we introduce another technique in this uh, presentation. This model is HF HSF um, model, which is particularly designed for team recognition. In this model, we have handcrafted feature with multiple multi-stage feature of CNN. Multi-layer feature are expected on this multi-layer CNN. Then handcrafted feature mostly of viber distribution color feature are extracted for the same sample of input image or same sample of the data. Then these feature are used for before applying the classification technique and individually these features uh, when they are used after that we have uh, separately apply the machine learning techniques and then their output is also combined which we say some rule and product rule are utilized here. Input data is same as conventional neural network which is given here number of categories uh, selected intermediate layer which one we have selected and output was the matrix of the label and we have selected some label uh, which is utilized for the further uh, output. This is actually design of our proposed model uh, in which uh, we have given one image and we apply the same uh, convolution neural network on the different stages S1, S2, Sn. And the, the same time, the same image used for extracting the feature. We have several number of experiments that how we combine that. And basic performance is measured uh, separately, then combined, and then we have classifier on the same level, cluster 1, cluster 2, cluster, cluster n. Then we, their outcome is also combined for final prediction of this one sample of input image. This is actually the implementation uh, of this model. Uh, we have two different pre-trained machine models. ResNet and GoogleNet is utilized. Global average during intermediate layer at intermediate layer is utilized. And uh, we have utilized the global average pooling for intermediate block layers uh, feature uh, extraction. And later on, these features are uh, combined with the handcrafted feature as we have discussed in the previous slide. And uh, for Google Net, we utilize the three different uh, stages. And for ResNet 50, we utilize five different stages as the previous study has given. And the number of the different features are extracted from each layer as like a ResNet 50, uh, we have taken 256, 256, 512, 512, 1000 dimensional feature for each block. And handcrafted feature is actually extracted by four by four grid patches apply on the each sample of input image sample. Uh, hope feature nine, color feature uh, seven, and HSP and variance of saturation component which are extracted in this color side, color feature. Viable distribution for which are extracted from each input sample. Classifi classifier setting, we utilize two well-known classifier. Uh, one is the SVM, Sport Vector Machine and Extreme Learning Machine, ELM. Sport vector machine is utilized with linear kernel uh, where we have uh, set by default setting at each block and uh, score level fusion uh, sum and product rule are used. Similarly, extreme learning machine, uh, we set the LS number of uh, hidden neuron, which is 12,000. Activation function is set mode function is utilized with C is based with C. A batch which is equal to 2 power minus 7. Majority voting is uh, used for combining the output for ELM at multi block set. Uh, there is two data set, uh, which is 15 scene data set and uh, stage data set 2. 15 scene data set, it means 15 different categories of the scene are utilized. We have the stage data set 2, it means that we have 12 different uh, stages uh, in this data. I will define here that 12 different stages in this data set which are used for uh, utilizing 
for evaluate this uh, proposed model actually these are actually containing the 1000 image in each category of the different world stages this is actually result of the already existence method and we have also shown here my uh, my paper result uh, which shows that our paper actually uh, increasing the uh, performance up to 97.86% which is higher than existence technique and also which is based on the traditional deep CNN model. This is uh, the previous slide is let me show you one more thing that it is applied on the 15 scene data set comparison while this slide showing that we have compared our result with stage data set 2 where we have 12,000 different images and uh, two data set, uh, state data set, 12 different categories. Here is also, we show that our performance, our accuracy of the proposed method reaching to 95.17, while the G, uh, G M S, uh, M S 2 F, uh, Tom et al. 2017, uh, model, which is proposed in 2017, is uh, increasing, uh, which is, which achieved the 82.96%. Percent accuracy while our model has 95.17. Similarly, another technique which is shown here also uh, achieving the different uh, accuracy which is very low compared to proposed method. Here is a summary of the proposed method in which that we see that the novel method is based on the handcrafted feature and multi layer CNN feature. Handcrafted feature actually capturing the rich information uh, for scene, geometry, information, shape, color, and depth, which help us to combine with the deep CNN feature uh, extraction, uh, feature extracted uh, by using multi-stage, uh, multi-layer uh, CNN. When we combine this feature, we get better performance. Two fusion techniques are used, score level, feature level fusion, feature level, and score level fusion. Feature level means that we combine feature together, and score level means predicted probability is combined at the end of score at the combined at the end of cluster. Training and testing is used. Pre-trained CNN model is utilized in this model. We have two different models, GoogleNet and ResNet model. Data sets, we have two different data sets, 15 scene data and state uh, data set is used in this model. Proposed result shows that it reaching 97.86 on 15 C data set and 95.17 state data set. It improved 12.21% uh, accuracy and 4.96% accuracy versus the GMS2F model and 11.92% and 3.86% increased accuracy versus FTO DLM model, which is proposed in 2019 method on stage 2 and 15 C data set respectively. Compared to DFF, ADML, another technique which is proposed in 2020, applied on this uh, similar algorithm, they are reaching to similarly R, RLML, LS, R, uh, Wang et al. actually proposed these two different techniques on the similar data set and our model in PV 1.47 and 4.36 accuracy compared to this 15 C data set respectively. This is actually accuracy which shown that the proposed model which is based on the extreme learning machine and uh, different conversion neural network we have checked the feature. The actually uh, machine learning different technique which help us to improve the performance and accuracy. On the base of that, we have achieved this accuracy. Uh, if you have any question, we may discuss on the comment or you can send me email or we can discuss on, uh, during the, this conference. So thank you for uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm always available for uh, support, and uh, if anyone interested, we may continue with this topic as well. But, uh, there is reference as well. We have some reference in this slide. Thank you.